Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing a just a bit of a quick and fun RAM comparison video between Kale Linux version 2022 on the left and OpenSUSE or OpenSUSE, the uh, the rolling release edition on the right. Now both of these are actually running on the GNOME desktop environment, so they are pretty similar on the front end. So we'll what we'll do is uh, is load up a terminal for each of them, use the nice and lightweight htop command just to see uh, the basically it's a terminal based. A system monitor here. Let's just see how much we're using. So on the left hand side for Kale Linux, we are running at 740 megabytes of RAM exactly on boot up. So before I go any further, full disclaimer, take all this with a grain of salt. There are a lot of variables that can come into play. But uh, continuing to move on, uh, for OpenSUSE on the right, we have 800, oh, it's really fluctuating there. Oh, okay, so about 900 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So it is a little bit more, uh, to say the least, with what's going on there. Uh, but uh, they, they have optimized these ones differently. So the OpenSUSE uh, version here, it's more of a stock GNOME environment actually, which tends to use a bit more RAM for whatever reason there. Just shy of a gigabyte, really. And on the, uh, let's see, left-hand side here for Kali Linux, a uh, bit of a, a customized different one with a nice little applications menu there, which I'm quite proud of. I really like to see there. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.